ओके तो माई वॉइस इज ऑडिबल तो टूडे प्लीज पुट द हेडिंग इंक्रीजिंग एनविटीज सिंपल इंक्रीजिंग एनविटी सिंपल इंक्रीजिंग एनविटी ओके यस स्क्रीन इज ब्लर देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम इन द इंटरनेट कनेक्शन सोहानी पारीक भुवन जोशी इज द स्क्रीन फाइन भुवन जोशी स्क्रीन इज ब्लर ऑल ऑफ यू आर फेसिंग द सेम प्रॉब्लम यस सर स्क्रीन इज ब्लर ओके नाउ सी इज इट ओके ओके तो सिंपल इंक्रीज एनविटी द स्ट्रक्चर इज लाइक दिस जीरो वन टू थ्री डॉट डॉट अप टू टेन तो द फर्स्ट पेमेंट विल बी हंड्रेड द सेकेंड पेमेंट टू हंड्रेड द थर्ड पेमेंट थ्री हंड्रेड एंड द टेंथ पेमेंट विल बी यू आर ऑन न्यू एंड द टेंथ पेमेंट विल बी वन थाउजेंड तो सिंपल इंक्रीज एनविटी मीन्स द एनविटी विल इंक्रीज बाय अ कॉन्स्टेंट अमाउंट लाइक इन कंपाउंड इंक्रीज एनविटी इट वॉज परसेंटेज इन सिंपल इंक्रीज द अमाउंट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज बाय अ कॉन्स्टेंट अमाउंट सो हियर वी हैव टेकन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टेन ईयर्स पेमेंट इज इन अरियर्स ओनली द फर्स्ट पेमेंट इज हंड्रेड and each payment is increasing by 100 so this is a simple increase anvity of rupees 100 okay we will rewrite it like this we will rewrite it like this 0 1 2 3 dot 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 up to 10 so students doing the class from home is everything perfect audio video you all yes okay come on everybody so the first payment will be 100 into 1 the second payment will be 100 into 2 the third payment will be 100 into start the poetry you are like this okay so 100 into 10 so basically this is a simple increase anvity of rupees 100 now we can get a structure like this also 0 1 2 3 dot dot 10 Where the first payment is one thousand and each payment increases by hundred, so the next payment will be eleven hundred, twelve hundred. The last payment, two thousand, two thousand. The last payment, you green T-shirt, yes. Huh? Nineteen hundred is the correct answer. So we'll rewrite it like this. We'll rewrite it like this. We'll break this down. we'll break this down into some level and some increase part like this we'll break this down into level and increase like this so the first thing will be 900 plus 100 into 1 the next will be 900 plus 100 into 2 and so on 900 plus 100 into 10 is it clear yes or no copy all this down one more one more example one more example 0 1 2 0.0 dot, 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 10 now the first payment is 5000 and each payment decreases by 200 so the next payment will be 4800 then it will be 4600 and so on what will be the last payment tell me we need to solve it by arithmetic progression where a is 5000 okay n is 10 okay common difference is minus 200 yes or no okay so tn is what a plus n minus 1 into 
T. Please solve for this fast and tell me the answer. Comments box. Use the chat box, everyone. What is the answer? 3200 is the correct answer. So we'll rewrite it like this. Think T. Change to. So we'll rewrite it like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 10. Can someone assist me? The first payment we'll write like this. 5200 minus 200 into 1. 5200 minus 200 into 2. The last payment will be 5200 minus 200 into 10. Yes or no? Okay. Huh? Now copy. Copy in your copy. Fast. Come on. Fast. Komal Jain, Reena, Aditi, Varuni, Bhuvan, Vaibhav, Prakasha, everything clear? Okay, so now we are going to do the proof after this. This was just an understanding, a, a warm up. Okay? Write down present value, present value of a simple increase annuity of rupee 1, present value of a simple increase annuity of rupee 1 paid for n years in arrears, present value of a simple increase annuity of rupee 1 paid for n years in arrears. Arrears means end of the year, paid for n years in arrears at I rate of interest, at I percent rate of interest, okay? So let's start, first the timeline, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 up to n. So the first payment will be here, the next payment here, the third payment here. And what will be the payment amounts? It will be 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 n. The first payment is 1 and each payment will increase by 1. That is only the meaning of simple increase annuity. Okay. So the formula for present value is IAN. We have, we have learned AN. Now we are learning I. The word capital I denotes simple increase. The letter capital I denotes simple increase. Okay. So IAN is equal to 1V plus 2v square plus 3v cube plus dot 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 plus n v to the power n. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. So now, what shall we do? 
tell me now how to solve this how to solve this how to solve this by taking v common how to solve this we will multiply the full equation by 1 plus i we will multiply the full equation by 1 plus i and then we will write it in some another order like this so we are let's suppose that i a n is equal to a okay so we are multiplying both sides by 1 plus i so 1 plus i into a so when we multiply 1 plus i our equation will turn out to be 1 right plus what 2v plus 3v square plus 4v cube plus dot 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 plus n v to the power n minus 1 okay now what we need to do is if this is 1 and this is 2 we need to do 2 minus 1 solve and get the answer solve and get the answer So when we do 2 minus 1, we are getting 1 plus i into a minus a, right, in the LHS. So we are getting 1, we are getting 1 plus i into a minus a is equal to 1 plus 2v minus v, 3v square minus 2v square plus dot 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 plus n minus n minus 1 v to the power n minus 1 minus n v n yes or no just check what we have done is so n v to the power n minus 1 will correspond to this term which is n minus 1 v to the power n minus 1 so this term is left and this whole equation is in minus okay so once you subtract you get this answer so what are we getting finally i a is equal to a d u n why a d u n because all of this is coming to a d u n only 1 plus v plus v square plus dot 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 this will cut down to 1. This is what? Anvity paid in advance for n years. This is what? Anvity paid in advance for n years. 1 plus v, just check. Last class, last to last class only we did it. 1 plus v plus v square plus dot 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 v to the power n minus 1. So this is a du n minus n v to the power n. So the formula for a that we are getting is a du n minus n v to the power n by i and what is a what is a a is i a n simple increase annuity present value paid in arrears for n years of rupee 1 please copy we need to match the terms matching is very important like this we need to match the terms okay so 1 is totally in minus, all the uh, terms in 1 are in minus and all the terms are in 2 are in plus, okay. So n minus n minus 1 whole into v to the power n minus 1. So it is coming to 1 only. Arushi, is this okay? Yes, sir.
कोमल जैन वी हैव मल्टीप्लाइड वन प्लस आई ऑन बोथ साइड एंड देन वी हैव डन टू माइनस वन तो इक्वेशन वन ऑल द टर्म्स आर इन नेगेटिव एंड इक्वेशन टू ऑल द टर्म्स आर इन पॉजिटिव एंड वी नीड टू मैच द टर्म्स ओके तो टू वी माइनस वी थ्री वी स्क्वायर माइनस टू वी स्क्वायर एंड वी आर गेटिंग वन प्लस वी प्लस वी स्क्वायर प्लस डॉट 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 वी टू द पार एन माइनस वन तो दिस इज वॉट एन वी टी पेड इन एडवांस फॉर एन ईयर्स एंड इन नेगेटिव वी आर गेटिंग एन वी टू दार एन विच इज द लास्ट एक्सप्रेशन which is the last term which is the last term for equation which is the last term for equation 1 okay okay next same case advance okay so simple increase advance so here 0 1 2 3 dot 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 n 1 and n 1 2 3 4 4 no payment the timeline is clear so let's suppose the present value is b so 1 plus 2v plus 3v square plus dot 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 plus n v to the power n minus 1 and we'll multiply both sides by v so v b will be what again we need to match the terms and we need to write so multiplying the rhs by v we get v plus 2v square plus dot 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 plus n minus 1 v to the power n minus 1 okay plus n v to the power n so now we are doing 1 minus 2 solve and get the answer the notation is i sorry sorry so now we are getting b common 1 minus v 1 minus v okay so this is equal to so this is equal to 1 plus v plus v square plus dot 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 plus v to the power n minus 1 minus n v n okay So b is equal to a d u n minus n v to the power n by one minus v is d. Clear? So what are we getting? i a d u n is the present value in advance formula so this is a d u n minus n v to the power n by d okay is it clear yes or no okay clear all of you in this we have moved the terms and we have written and here we have forwarded the terms and here we have forwarded the terms right why because we need to match why have we forwarded the terms because we need to match v with v v square with v square and so on okay so in the first thing in arrears case 
we have multiplied both the sides by 1 plus i and in the advanced case we have multiplied both the sides by v okay Okay. Now, take out the assignment. I'm giving some sums. I A. 10 at the rate 8% IADU 15 at the rate 2.5% please solve so IA8 will be what IA10 will be what ADU 10 minus 10 V to the power 10 by 0 0.08 again you need to solve for ADU 10 and in this it will be a du 15 minus 15 v to the power 15 by 0 0.025 by 1.025 okay please solve both and get the answer please solve both and get the answer ठीक है कितना कितना आ रहा है व्हाट इज द आंसर फर्स्ट वन 32.68 एंड सेकंड वन 
95.69. Now, now the next case that we are going to do today is. Write down I A whole bar N. So wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't copy. I A bar N and I A whole bar N. Okay. There are two things that we need to study. Write down. Point number one. I A bar N. Right. Increase is discrete. Increase is discrete, comma, but payment is continuous. Here, first bullet. Both increase and payment are continuous. Okay. So, I A bar means what? The increase will be per annum. Like first year it will be 100. Like this. First year it is 100. Then the next year it is 200. Then in the third year it is 300. Then in the third year it is 300 and so on. So here the increase is taking place on a per annum basis. But the payment is continuous. In the first year the payment will be 100 but it will be continuous. In the second year the payment will be 200 but it will be continuous. In the third year the payment will be 300 but it is continuous and so on. But here the payment and the increase both are continuous. So draw the graphs. Draw the graphs. So here what is happening is we are starting with we are starting with 100 then next year 200 the next year 300 the next year 400. But here both the increase and the payment are continuous. IA whole bar increase is also continuous and the payment is also continuous. Okay, so now we'll do the proof, copied, okay, now we'll do the proof, first I A bar N, so what do you mean by I A bar N, let's say suppose in the first year the payment is 1, but it will be paid continuously, so A bar 1, in the second year the payment is 2, but it will be paid continuously. So when we do 2 A bar 1, the present value comes at time 1 only and from time 1 we need to pull it back to time 0. So it is like this. The graph of this will be like this. So 0 to 1 it is 1, 1 to 2 it is 2 and dot dot dot. n minus 1 to n it is n. But the payment is continuous. When we are doing 2 A bar 1, the payment is coming here. And from here, we need to pull it back to time 0. So that is why into V also. Okay. For the third year, it will be 3 into A bar 1. But when we do 3 A bar 1 for the third year, the payment is standing at time 2. And from 2, we need to bring it to time 0. So again, V square plus dot 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 plus N A bar 1 v to the power n minus 1. So, what we can do is, what we can do is, we can take, we can take a bar 1 common and what we are getting? 1 plus 2v plus 3v square plus dot 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 plus n v to the power n minus 1. Just now we solved this. 
Just now we solved this. This is what? I aid you. I aid you in. This is what? Simple increase paid in advance for n years. So what we can say is a bar 1 into i a d u n. So now open up the formulas and what we get? We are getting 1 minus v by delta into a d u n minus n v to the power n by d. So this and this cut, right? So what is the final answer that we are getting for i a bar n? We are getting a d u n minus n v to the power n by delta. Please copy. Draw this graph also, very important. All of you, please watch my how to use actuarial calculator videos, okay? It is very important to watch. Next. Next, we will do IA whole bar n. Please put the heading IA whole bar n. 
so what does this mean the payment is also continuous and the increase is also continuous so here the payment is from time 0 to n and we need to calculate present value okay so at time t the payment will be t discounting factor v to the power t into dt so basically what have we done this is simple increase so at time t the payment amount will be time will be t only and we need to bring that money from time t to time 0 so that is why the discounting factor v to the power t into dt and integration 0 to n okay because the payment is continuous so now 0 to n t e to the power minus delta t dt so integration u into v rule we need to apply okay i late rule so this is the first function and this is the second function now solve and get the answer U integration v dx minus integration ddx of u ddt because here it is dt so ddt of t is 1 into integration v dx so this will be the answer now again we need to solve 0 to n check this out right and have we solved e to the power minus delta t dt we have solved this we have solved this copy this down and then I will solve it for you in a bar n we have solved this already a bar n we have already solved this check e to the power minus delta t Okay, so it will be t e to the power minus delta t by minus delta minus e to the power minus delta t by minus delta into minus delta. Okay, 0 to n. Now, as I say, put like that only. Wait, wait, wait. Put zero here. If we put zero here, then this whole term will become zero. Okay. So, first we are putting n. So, n e to the power minus delta n by minus delta minus wait 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 minus into minus is what plus so minus sign will remain e to the power minus delta n by delta square this is when we put n minus when we put 0 so this first term will become 0 again minus right again minus anything to the power 0 is 1 by what delta square excellent and this minus is for this this one this minus is for this one okay get biscuit
Now simplify and solve. Simplify and solve. Try and solve this. Two times integration. Check. So what we are getting is 1 by delta square minus e to the power minus delta n by delta square minus n e to the power minus delta n by delta, right? So take common, 1 by delta take common. So we are getting 1 minus v to the power n by delta, yes or no? Minus n v to the power n by delta, yes or no? So 1 by delta a bar n minus n v to the power n by delta. So we are getting a bar n minus n v to the power n by delta. Check. Okay, this is how you simplify. Up or down? Up. Wait. Done. Pre-practice. We have completed annuities also, okay? Annuities, simple increase, decrease, we have completed, okay? Now we'll do some pre free practice today and tomorrow. So what is the final formula? A bar n minus n b to the power n by delta. Now let's start. Question number 32. Question number 32. Question number 32. 
an investment manager has invested 1000 in a fixed interest security that pays interest of 40 at the end of each half year okay so we are getting 40 40 40 per half year in addition the full 1000 is returned on redemption in 12 years time the investment manager deposits all of the proceeds from the security in a bank account that pays an effective rate of interest 8% calculate the amount of money in the bank account after 10 years after 10 years so basically they are just going on paying per half year 40 per half year 40 for 10 years in arrears and they are asking you to calculate the accumulated value very simple now I am going to make two equations one when we are working in annual so when we work in annual it will be 80 per annum s 10 years every year there are two payments at the rate 8 percent wait 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 next equation 40 s 20 in 10 years there are 20 half years at the rate what i2 by 2 which is the half yearly effective rate of interest when i is what 8 percent so how to calculate i2 by 2 we are going to do 1.08 to the power half minus 1 please solve fast and tell me what is the rate of interest Zero point zero three nine two zero point zero three nine two three. Okay, solve from both the methods and get the answer. Vaibhav, are you getting the answer? Bhuvan, Prakasha, Abhishek, last day your name was Dilli Babu. Okay. You are from Delhi. Then why? You are not audible. Okay. Okay, from Mumbai. Tell me fast. I don't have all day. What? One one five eight point. What is the answer? One one five eight point nine two is the correct answer. Yes, yes. Komal Jain, I hope so. You have got the answer. Yeah. Next question number forty one. Calculate the accumulated value as at 1st January 2020 of payments of 100 paid every 2 years from 1st January 1980 to 1st January 2018 inclusive using an interest rate of 12%. Okay. So now see, we need to draw a timeline. So what they are saying is payments of 100 paid every 2 years. So in two years there will be one payment. First January 1980. So one 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 nine eight zero. 
तो बेसिकली फर्स्ट जनवरी 1980 एट्टी मीन्स वॉट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन ये सो नो एंड टिल दे आर सेंग टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड देन कम्स वॉट टू करेक्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज डिकोडिंग द क्वेश्चन तो नाउ दे आर सेंग वंस इन एवरी टू ईयर्स तो इफ दिस इज जीरो Tell me what will be 2018 and what will be 2019. Calculate. Count with me. 80, 80, 11 means what? 90, 21 means what? 2000. So 21 plus 18. So how much? 21 plus 18. 21 plus 18. 39. and this is what 40 okay so first look at this and then now solve try to solve the question no one one five eight is the wrong answer and second one from both the methods the answer will be same now what is the answer tell me This is not the correct answer. The answer is one one eight one point. Question number thirty two. One one eight two is the correct answer here. Yes. Okay. So now we are doing question number forty one. So they are saying that the payments from first January nineteen eighty. So the first payment will be here. The first payment will be here hundred, and then at time two. Okay, and so on. It will be like this. So the last payment will be at what? The last payment will be at what? What is twenty one plus eighteen? So the last payment will be at thirty-eight, right? So if you see, then there will be no payment at thirty-nine, and then we need to calculate the accumulated value here. So if you see in forty years, how many two years? Twenty, and there will be twenty payments in advance. So it is what hundred s twenty, but we will use two yearly rate what is the annual effective rate 12% what is two year rate effective is i 0.5 by 0.5 basically this is two years rate so 1.12 square minus 1 what is 1.12 square two years accumulation factor minus 1 means what two years effective rate please solve 1.12 square minus 1 Zero point two five four four. Now please solve and get the answer. Are we getting the correct answer? So you will get this answer in forty two, I guess. This forty five three eighty nine. Is it? No. First, solve this and get the answer. What is the answer? Do it.
no 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 wait 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 first january 2018 is not 2018 it is 2017 only na so we have done it correct only just this will 2017 so we don't need 39 so this will be 2017 this will be uh 2017 now calculate 21 plus 17 38 so the last payment is at time 38 and they have access to calculate the value at 40 just that would not be 2018 because it is first jan 2018 it will be what 2017 and yeah hmm no the payment is in advance as due yes as due is that as due yes So hundred as due twenty at the rate zero point two five four four. Now solve. This is how you build the equation. Someone is saying three six one eight three. At at No hundred as due twenty at the rate zero point two five four four will give you the correct answer. What is the answer? Hundred as due twenty at the rate zero point two five four four. So how to solve this? It will be hundred. One minus one point two five four four to the power minus twenty by zero point two five four four by one point two five four four. Now solve four five. The answer given at back is correct. Four five. Sorry. Sorry. Now this will be one point two five four four to the power twenty minus one. It is as due twenty, na? So one plus i to the power n minus one. Now solve and get the answer. Four five, very important question. Four five three eight eight point six five, very good. Now you all will solve till question number sixty two. Okay. Now you all will solve till question number sixty two. Now after four five three eight eight, all of you have got Vaibhav, Suhani. Now we will write one note. Note. In note, please put I zero point five by zero point five is equal to two yearly effective. 
रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो नोन एज बाइनियल बाइनियल मीन्स वंस इन टू इयर्स आफ्टर दिस नोट नंबर टू बाई एनुअली इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस इन वन ईयर बाई एनुअली मीन्स ट्वाइस इन वन ईयर ओके फूल एवरी वन फूल एवरी वन एस नो so first we decoded the full question okay 2017 and is what first january 2018 okay that's it for the day and tomorrow tomorrow we are having class at 11 am okay tomorrow we are having class at 11 am it will be a little long class because i am free tomorrow so it will be a little long class okay so tomorrow uh, we will solve sums okay and i expect you all to watch my calculator videos and by now all of you should have the calculator fx 82 es plus ACO company, you can buy the second edition or the first edition. There is no difference. There is just basically you have seen how Iron Man has evolved over time. The work is same. Okay, so it looks good. So that's it for the day. And yes, we have completed level annuity, simple increase, decrease, pithly deferred. We will practice some more sums like we did today. Okay. now one thing that i want you all to know is while solving the problem don't look for solutions if you look for solutions then your mind will not develop okay now this paper which you all are doing is actually very important it's not a very tough course but when doing the sums you should be very cautious try to like i did in one sum two mistakes okay because i don't generally solve the question i just tell i form the equation i don't generally solve it so that is why so don't like this is these are some of the most common mistakes like when it is written as due you take in the denominator i or you write the formula 1 minus v to the power n these all are only the mistakes taking i2 instead of i2 by 2 calculating accumulated value when you are asked present value and so on these all are the mistakes that you commit in the exam okay by solving the question in full you will be able to avoid these sorts of mistakes okay thank you all of you next class tomorrow 11 am